Hey guys, so for today's tutorial, I am going to show you how to look like the lovely Mia from the remake of Evil Dead. This tutorial was meant to go out during Halloween time, but as a few of you guys know, I couldn't figure out how to work my movie maker, so I'm just going to go ahead and post it right now. For today's tutorial, I'm going to be using liquid latex. I do not recommend this liquid latex. It sucks, I'm going to be completely honest with you guys, but it was the only thing I had lying around. If you have sensitive skin, I highly recommend either Mayron liquid latex or Ben Nye's liquid latex. I'm gonna go ahead and pour this liquid latex into any disposable bowl, and then I'm also gonna be using sponges for this. You do not wanna use your brushes when using liquid latex because it will destroy your brushes. Trust me, I learned that the hard way. We are also gonna be using any regular tissue paper for this look. What you're gonna do is just rip apart a bunch of pieces of tissue paper, and we're just gonna go ahead and save those for later. To start this look, we're going to want to make it look like we have burn marks all over our skin. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to cover a good area of my face in that liquid latex. And then with the pieces of tissue paper that we ripped up earlier, I'm just going to go ahead and place that all over on top of anywhere I put the liquid latex. And then I'm also going to put more liquid latex on top of the tissue paper. Hell yeah. And then I'm also going to put that liquid latex over random areas of my face just to give me more texture. But I'm not going to be putting tissue paper on those areas. I'm just going to have the tissue paper on that one side of my face because that one side of my face is where we're going to place all the burn marks. And then this you can just do with your fingers. I'm just going to be placing little holes on this side of my face. And you want to do this step before the latex dries. This is a really great method for people that are just starting out in FX makeup and want to know how to do a burn look. And when you're done, your face should look something like this. And then I just went ahead and repeated this process anywhere that I saw fit in the reference photo on my face. I decided to add a few more burns around my chin and then on my neck as well just because I noticed on the reference photo she had a lot more burns than I had thought originally. Now after all my latex has completely dried, I'm going to go ahead and add some white cream paint all over my face just to give more of a dead appearance. <laughs> and I'm going to add this paint all the way down my neck and all over my face. Uh, that way I don't see any of my regular skin showing. I realized quickly I was starting to look a little too white, so I decided to go ahead and add the palest foundation that I own. Now I'm going to take these water activated face paints, I'm going to use that red shade there and I'm just going to go ahead and fill in all of the holes that we made with that shade. Now using the Jaclyn Hill Favorites palette, I'm going to take these two mauve brown shades here and I'm going to just lightly dust this around the red marks that we made just to add a little bit of bruising to the look. Ladies and gentlemen, you're all invited to go fucking mental on this motherfucking drop. Now using that same water activated face paint, I'm going to take the yellow shade in the palette and I'm going to go ahead and add the yellow into the red marks that we made just to give more of an illusion of a pussy, more disgusting look. It looks a lot more realistic when you do this. Now 
Now Mia has very dark eyes in the movie with, you know, being undead and all that. So I just went ahead and took some gray and black eyeshadow and put that all around my eyes very messily. And then after I applied the shadow, I would just blend it in with my finger. I added in some black eyeliner on my waterline and then I also went ahead and put uh, NYX Jumbo Eye Pencil in the shade Black Bean all over my lips because I noticed in the reference photo she has really messy dark lips. And now for my favorite part of this tutorial, as always, we're going to go ahead and add in Ben Nice Scab Blood in all of the burn holes that we made. And then I also went ahead and added in some more of that yellow color with the scab blood just to make it look that much more pussy and disgusting and more burned looking. I wanted it to look like we had just gotten third degree burn. And for some finishing touches, I went ahead and added in some black eyeliner all over my teeth just to make my teeth look more dead and disgusting. And if you want to add some more scary touches, I say add a little bit of chocolate syrup in your mouth, let it drip down your face, and it'll give it this really dark, dirty appearance. 